Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to do kind of a part two to the video on Flask assets that I did the other day. So basically I showed you how to use Flask assets and how to bundle up JavaScript files and I described how to bundle up CSS files to put them in your app to better manage those static resources that you have in your app. So in this video, I'll show you how to actually minify those files so you can kind of save space um, well, not so much save space, but uh, save data that needs to be transferred over the network when people are requesting your site. So first, let me just go over what I did last time. I created a simple Flask app, and this is the code from the last video. So if you haven't seen that video already, I recommend that you watch that video first and then come back and watch this one. So in that video, I talked about uh, how to bundle up files. So in this particular case, I have home, add, and subtract JavaScript files and then um, I just register those files on the app and then in my template I have this asset URL that will actually take the the generated file that is created by flask assets and put it into my page so it always gets loaded and then I have three JavaScript files that have really basic uh, functionality but that was just for demonstration purposes so let me start the app just to show you what happens when I go to the site. So I get the pop-up from one of the JavaScript files and if I view source, I see I have this generated file and it has the combination of all three JavaScript source files in one file. So this is great, but if I had a lot of code that was um, on my site, this may take a while because it's not minified, so there's extra white space and extra formatting that a computer doesn't need, but uh, humans need to read it. But um, once the computer execute it, executes it, it's all um, unnecessary. So by minifying a file, you can save a ton of space in the file, and then when someone goes to request it over the network, it's just less stuff for them to download. So once uh, I put in the functionality to minify this, you'll see that this file that's generated looks a little bit different. So the first thing I need to do is install um, a library to minify the files. So I'm going to use pip. So pip install. And since I'm minifying JS files, I need to install JS min. There's also a library called CSS min, which is analogous to minifying JavaScript files. So I won't demonstrate that in the video, but you should be able to figure out the difference between the two. And it's basically, you're just using CSS files instead of JavaScript files. So I'll install this. And it should only take a second and it was pretty quick. So once I have it installed, it's pretty easy to use in Flask assets. All I need to do is add one more argument here. It's going to be filters. And then I pass in uh, what filters I want to use. So in this case, it's going to be JS min. So I'll just save that and I'll restart the app. And I will go to the page. I get the home JS file has been loaded. And now if I take a look at the page source and I go to the generated file, you see it looks different. Like it's all squished together. Um, there's no uh, extra white space. So this is what I meant by minifying. The JavaScript interpreter can still read all this and understand it, but it's just harder for humans to read. And if this were uh, a lot more code, it would be um, really difficult for you to read. So that's what I meant by minifying. And you can see how it can uh, save some space uh, in the file and when it gets requested, it's just less to download. So that's really all I want to show you for this video. It's just a continuation of part one. And like I said, if you didn't watch the original video, watch that first and then come back to this and it will make more sense. So if you have any questions on using Flask assets, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll answer any questions you have. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next video.